Good morning, everyone. You're watching The Breakfast Show, the show worth waking up for Ooh. with Nazruddin Rahman and myself, Lisa Wong. Mm -hmm. And today's show is going to be spicy. It's mm -hmm. going to be glamorous. Absolutely. It's the 25th of September. Mm. It's a beautiful Wednesday and we've got not only beautiful girls, we've got a slice of Hollywood right here in the studio. Find out what we've got in store for you. Two teenage sisters will move to do something magnificent for those living on the margins of society after doing a school geography project. So stay tuned to find out as they recount their incredible story. And also we have a slice of Hollywood right here in Malaysia. In the Breakfast Show studio, we have Sarinda Swan, Hollywood actress extraordinaire, and she'll tell us how she will be saving the world at one project at a time. Wow, did you see that? Do you know what this means, Lisa? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got two teenage girls who are changing the world with yes. their positivity and, of course, their talent. Mm -hmm. And we've got uh, Hollywood talent coming here, changing the world one project at a time. Yes. And they're all beautiful women. Oh, aren't you lucky today? Exactly. Do you see any other men here in this studio? Well, uh, apart from our cameraman. Well, no, they don't count. <laughs> they're, behind the <laughs> they're behind the cameras. I'm the only one right here. Privileged one this morning on The Breakfast Show. So find out more uh, as we find out uh, their project. Uh, friends, to mankind yes. um, is actually uh, um, heading, spearheading uh, several projects around the world, including uh, um, Somalia and the Middle East. So many projects to save humanity. Mm, yes. Now, these two teenage girls did a flash mob mm -hmm. uh, in shopping malls, and now they are turning to bigger stuff. So this mm -hmm. is going to be a big project for Friends to Mankind, mm -hmm. and uh, that brings their biggest supporter, mm -hmm. which is Serena Swan, yeah. a Hollywood actress. She's and the founding ambassador of Friends to Mankind, yes. and uh, she's done. Crazy things like jump 18,000 feet from a very tall building to raise 18,000 ringgit. She ended up raising 100,000. How yes, about that? Yes, and also cycle more than 500 kilometers. Mm, across <laughs> Cambodia. So tell you what, you want to raise some money? Go jump over a building, Lisa. <laughs> you mean with a harness? What? what? With harness? a harness, What yes. harness? You, you are Lisa Wong. You don't mention that. You don't need a harness. <laughs> I don't need a, You're what, a I'm a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but well, of course, before we go into that, let's take a look uh, as we go across to Sri Pantas mm -hmm. in Bandar Utama. We go live to the morning edition. Let's find out what Lena has in store for us. Go. And how do you do that tapping thing? Okay, I, I've been looking at you guys do it, and, and uh, um. <laughs> I, I look like Muhammad Ali. No, no, yeah, sorry, ladies. You look like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> See, you, do you hear the sound? Do you hear the sound? Do you hear the sound? <laughs> My goodness. No, no, oh, no. The no, exuberance no. of youth. We'll let the professionals do it. I think there's a great idea. And who are the professionals that we have here? Yes, we Lisa? have <laughs> Apsi Shama Vimal, who mm -hmm. is the project director and mm -hmm. Friends to Mankind Youth Ambassador, mm -hmm. together with her sister Aishi Vimal. So, ladies, please have a seat. Yes. You are our honored guest this morning <laughs> as we join you here on set. Come, Lisa. Let's have oh, a seat okay. over here. And let's talk about the fact that you guys are changing the world and you started, uh, of course, a, a, a movement back when you were 14 and, and, and 13 years old. 15, 14 and 15. 14 and 15. You are still teenage girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, they did a flash mob, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Uh, in three malls. Mm -hmm. Yes, three malls. And, and now this flash mob, this, this initiative is turned into something much bigger. Mm -hmm. But first, tell us about the flash mobs. I mean, what prompted you girls to mm -hmm. do this? Mm -hmm. So I had a geography project back in 2011 and mm -hmm. it said uh, list a few organizations. So I went on Google and I was just searching and I found like UNICEF and mm -hmm. CARE. And then I, I wanted to look and I searched a bit more. Then I found the girl effect and mm -hmm. the girl effect on their website is a video which says, which is called The Clock is Ticking. Mm -hmm. And it's really it's um, inspiring because it says like girls at 14 and 15 are getting married mm -hmm. and having kids and then mm -hmm. 
They can't make enough money, so they have to go into prostitution and stuff just to earn money to survive. And, you know, survive. we were, we were that, their age, and I was 15, and there was, like, the story about this girl who had mm -hmm. children. And mm -hmm. I was like, what? She's got kids, and she's my age. This is not fair. Mm -hmm. So we thought we, wouldn't, we thought we were so young. We don't think we could raise money. We thought we will just raise awareness. Mm -hmm. And we would do a flash mob. So because at that time, it was really popular, and it was really fun, and we're dancers, so mm -hmm. there would be something easy for us to do. Mm -hmm. And we set up, we did it, and mm -hmm. we actually raised 10,000 ringgit. Here's, here's, the, here's the, 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 I tell you, the specialty of youth, yeah? If you told me this idea as an adult, I'd be going, you guys are crazy. I mean, <laughs> seriously, as an adult, that's not viable. What is this flash mob thing? What is going on? But you guys, you guys don't seem to know how to take no for an answer. So how, how did you start this initiative? Um, the dance effect? Yeah. Well, because... When we did the flash mob in when I was 14 and she was 15, everyone mm. kept asking us, is this going to be a one-time thing? Mm. Yeah. And we didn't, of course, we're not going to do this one time, you know, just come, and just raise money, it. that's all. Mm. You know? Exactly. And you know, you raised 10,000 ringgit, mm. and of course, you've got all these people um, to back you up and support. You've got NGOs supporting you yeah. as well. Mm. Did you ever think it would be this successful? No, no we had we, no idea. We, we like, at every rehearsal, there's maybe like 30 people, 40 people. On the day, my mom was like, actually, there's 100 people here. And we were like, what? what? Wow. And the effect of a flash mob when it's a hundred strong yeah. is very, very yeah. profound. Yeah? Yeah. So yes. where were the locations that you did we this We did it mobs? in Pavilion, mm -hmm. uh, Wanutama and Bangsa Village too. Right. Bangsa Village so too. could you say um, Girl Effect was a success here? Yes. Yes. yes, definitely. Right. Very so, good. So now that you come up to do this particular project, mm -hmm. now this is much bigger on a bigger scale. Exactly. And you also have the support of a Hollywood actress. Yes. Exactly. How do you manage to catch the eye of friends to mankind. Actually, they helped us yeah. with the flash mob. Mm -hmm. In fact, they helped us get sponsors for that as well, like mm -hmm. with the t-shirts and stuff. So then they said, okay, you guys want to do this? We'll come on board. We'll make this our project, our the biggest year. project for the yeah. year. Mm -hmm. Wow, and, all right. And then they got on board and, and really it's become so big because of them. And because mm -hmm. Serena Swan is an ambassador, she's mm -hmm. the founding ambassador of Friends to Mankind and mm -hmm. she heard about our project. Mm -hmm. And she said, okay, I'll come down and help uh, you get uh, the media. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that easy. How did she get to hear about this? <laughs> you know, I do all sorts of stuff on TV. She, Serena Swan doesn't call me up and go, Hey, I want you to do a flash mob for us. You sorry, know? Nas. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, exactly. I, how, I mean, did she reach you by email? She, or oh, actually, or? we've met her. We've known yeah. her for about five years now. So she does know us. Mm. And then she's also part of Friends of Mankind. And she heard about it and she's like, Okay, I'll come down. Wow. wow. Oh, that's how nice. do I get to be friends with Serena Swan like <laughs> you guys? <laughs> <laughs> for the right reasons, though. For the right reasons. I didn't see for the wrong reason. <laughs> so girls, now Dance Effect 2013 is going to be taking place, what, this Friday? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so what are you doing in, in there? Is there like, is there a big concert or? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a huge, huge concert. We have about 11 pieces. That's one of the pieces. Yeah, it's you're an rehearsing acapella. right now, yeah? Yeah, that's our teachers dancing actually, it's which is super cat. exciting. Alright, <laughs> you roped in your teachers to come yeah. and do this as well. They're very supportive. They're My goodness, your spirit is really infectious. So <laughs> how many people are involved in uh, uh, dance effect. We have about 50 dancers. 50 okay. dancers. And we have dancers from hula to pop ballet to classical ballet to mm -hmm. pop Indian. And we have a classical Indian dance by yes. Dato Ramli Ibrahim. Mm, yeah. Excellent. You've wrote Dato Ramli Ibrahim yes. together as well. Wow. I mean, he's world renowned, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah. So, Dance Effect 2013 is going to be a, a crazy international affair. Yes. Very good. And wow. what's the target? Yeah. Uh, our target is 100,000. 100,000 ringgit? Yes. Wow, all the best. Yeah, I'm, right I'm now sure. we are at 90,000, so we're almost yeah. there. All right, oh, you're really? almost there yeah. already. Wow. And then how do you manage to garner the support, uh, of course, uh, with uh, Dance Effect looming just around the corner? Um, we're just, we we're just, just, you know, coming on shows like this and, you know, <laughs> hoping people, people will hear about us. And it doesn't have to be a donation by money. Any mm. any little thing makes the biggest difference. Like mm. if you share yeah. the video yeah. share or you the video video tweet Facebook. about it. Mm. I see, okay. Mm. So now you guys are, you know, you guys are still in school yeah. and you have your commitments with your studies. How do you guys balance this? Uh, late, lately it has it's been, been very it's been tough. It's been tiring, mm -hmm. but you know, it's all for such a good cause and it's like, it doesn't matter. Mm. Okay, okay, here's the magic question. Is your mother okay with this? Yes, yes. she's okay. <laughs> she's very supportive. She kind of scolds us when we're like, we're so tired. She's like, yeah. no, you agree to this. You have to do it. And we're like, yes, we have she to do it. She was up to 3 a.m. last wow. night. I think she was fixing stuff for the program My book and goodness. for the seating. And My so, goodness. like, everyone this morning was really drowsy yeah. and sleepy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now no, that it's, it's almost to the finish yeah. line, yeah. you know? And, yeah. and, and here's the thing. Is, was there any point during this project that you felt like, oh my god, this is too hard, this is crazy, we didn't sign up for this. I think no. not 
really. I mean, we we kind of knew what we were getting ourselves mm -hmm. into. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we knew we'd be tired and things like that. But it's more important to do this than yeah. to worry about you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. uh, being that's, tired. That's fantastic, girls. I mean. Uh, do you have you actually been on the ground to probably meet some of the, mm -hmm. you know, the victims or even people who are these girls that you are yeah. actually helping? Mm -hmm. No, we haven't. We haven't yet. Haven't yet. Mm -hmm. like, hopefully, we could in the future. Like yeah, Serena, she she goes out and she does all these amazing things, mm -hmm. and she actually goes and sees these girls, yeah. Yeah. which we haven't got the opportunity to do yet. Mm -hmm. But hopefully soon we will. Well, you, um, if you're not aware, there's quite a few problems here in Malaysia yeah. as well, mm -hmm. including homeless uh, and of course women. Uh, well, women's rights over here, it's pretty balance compared to some other parts of the world but there's still a lot of work to be done so what's after dance effect 2020 uh, actually dancing we're not just giving all the uh, money to the girl effect we're giving it to 50 percent the girl effect 50 percent the three local charities excellent yeah. and what are the local charities uh, fuji school which is for the refugee kids then mm -hmm. iq 70 plus which is a home for the mentally disabled mm -hmm. and then it's children's wish society of malaysia wow wow okay. you've got this all planned oh. <laughs> yeah that's very yeah. good i mean at, at the teenage age, you already have this portfolio. Teenagers. This is amazing. Teenagers with a plan. So yes. let's hope this 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 particular thought uh, gets spread around all our yeah. youth. That's yes. for sure. I mean, we could use more youth uh, like the both of you. Thank you so much for thank galvanizing you. the rest of us. <laughs> and thank you for making us believe as well. Because quite honestly, when I first read it, I was really skeptical. I was like, are these girls really sure they can change the world with a flash mob? <laughs> Apparently you can. So you proved me wrong. And my goodness, I'm so proud of you. Your parents might be very, very proud of you as well. So keep up the good work, girls, all right? Thank and so never much. take no for an answer. <laughs> yes. Very cool. And well, don't listen to old people like us, huh? <laughs> you, mean, you, mean, you mean you? Oh, you mean me, me, sorry. Uh, okay, it was a different category. But anyway, we will come back uh, in a short while mm -hmm. and we'll be joined by one of the biggest supporters, Serena exactly. Swan, who is a Hollywood actress. The founding ambassador of friends to mankind is here in the studio she's done some crazy things to raise <laughs> money and one of the craziest things is to appear on the breakfast show the show worth waking up for find out what her plans are to save the world hollywood style we'll be back right after this Abbott Serinda Swan, who is the uh, founding ambassador of Friends to Mankind, here on the Breakfast Show studio to talk about her latest project, Dance Effect 2013, here in Malaysia. Welcome back. You're watching The Breakfast Show, the show worth waking up for. And today's show is a lot more reasons to wake up for because we have, well, a Hollywood actress and the founding member of Friends to Mankind. Well, and you know what, Nas, wake up. I know you're going gaga already. The, uh, All right, it's already uh, drooling as well. Can we get some tissues, please? You know, saya cari makan. I, 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 my career is, is about talking and I can't ah. seem to find my plan. Ah, I see. I, and we know why. We know why. Yes, well, we have... Hollywood does that to me, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, we've got a slice of Hollywood right here on The Breakfast Show studio, of course, speaking mm. about Friends to Mankind. She's the, as you said earlier, the founding mm. ambassador of this uh, great NGO. And she's here in our studio. Ladies Gentlemen, your hands for Serinda Swan. Oh. Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Thank welcome you. to the show. I like well. applause in the morning. That's what I'm like. And it's gl glad to see that you're actually as tall in real life as, as on TV. I am as well. tall. That's, I keep getting told that while I'm here. Everyone maybe, it's the, is, me. maybe it's the it's, seven inch heels that you're be, wearing. It could definitely be between the heels and then just genetics, but I've definitely, everyone goes, You're so tall. I'm like, oh, in the States, I'm like about average. So yes. it's like, Oh, I'm tall over here. Great. As you can see, this is average for Malaysia. So, mm -hmm. I love it. I love Malaysia. So, so you. you you have been here like what nine times? Already? Yeah, at least eight or nine times. This is wow. my third time this year. So okay. I'm I'm always back and forth here. So and is there course. any any Malay word that you have picked up or any food that you have uh, fallen in love with? Well, it's it's they kind of go hand in hand because that's all I <laughs> all I know is roti. I love roti. It's like the worst thing ever for you, but I love it. I just like it's I I use it as like my spoon to get the food because it's just so good at getting like everything <laughs> together and they knew when i first started coming down here i'd be like can i have a fork please can i get a fork yeah. <laughs> right. and now i'm just like i just roti just i'm just gonna put it all together <laughs> and eat it that way so those Apsi are like and Aishi, it. thank you so much for giving our national treasure yeah. to uh, miss swan yeah. over here yes now serena you have started in, uh, in some big and small screens you mm -hmm. know tv dramas as well as mm -hmm. movies mm -hmm. and uh, you played a cop right erica reed 
Yes. I seem to be getting lots of cop shows, which is a little bizarre. Well, um, of course, you, 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 uh, the, the latest project is uh, called Graceland. Yes. Uh, it's about uh, cops living in one house, different mm -hmm. uh, from different departments, if I understand. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually based on a true story. Mm -hmm. The undercover agency is really hard on um, agents because mm -hmm. They can't talk to anybody. You're not really allowed to have a family, or um, mm -hmm. I, it's not that you're not allowed, but you have to be prepared to lie to them about everything that mm -hmm. you're doing. Mm -hmm. So the shelf life of an agent, an undercover agent specifically, um, in a lot of the circumstances that we're going under, mm -hmm. the, the heightened ones, mm -hmm. is very short. Mm -hmm. So they decided that they were going to put in um, FBI, DEA, and Customs all together in one house see, yeah. mm -hmm. and try to see if maybe they could be their own support system. And at first, it works out to be this great family, and mm -hmm. then as most families yeah, kind of, you know. It just, they, we start to get a little dysfunctional. The lies start to come from outside the house into the house, and mm. uh, and yeah, it's a re it's an interesting show, especially because we have that little bit of truth that's in there. Yeah. As well. I was going to ask you as well. Now you also um, you also filmed in a real prison with some real convicts. Yes, actually in the scene. Uh, that was in um, that was in Breakout Kings, the first uh, one yes, that I did. Yeah. yeah, that was very interesting. Where you're walking and you're like, hi, so you're All right. legitimately in jail. Okay, great. All right, <laughs> hi, nice to see you. I'm gonna go over here now. Now and well, shoot well. and you know it was I, it, it was a lot of the time we're in real situations it's mm -hmm. it's you know you're at a coffee shop you're actually at a, ca a coffee shop yes the road might be blocked off but you got people driving by and whatever so there's a lot of reality in with what we do mm -hmm. but that was probably one of the most heightened realities that I've, I've been I, in. I hope no one ruined the take by going, Hi, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, no. no. Sometimes, sometimes you get it and you just kind of wave and then they go, okay, take two. You're like, all right. But I mean, we're, we're obviously just as excited to see them as they are to see us. I mean, the reason why our show's on the air and why mm -hmm. it's doing so well is because of our fans. So mm -hmm. if, if they want to reach out and say hi, and we're, we're more than happy because, you know, mm. that's why we have our jobs. <laughs> yes, yes, I agree with that. But more interesting enough, of course, Hollywood, um, being Hollywood, mm -hmm. how do you squeeze time to mm. be the founding ambassador of Friends to Mankind uh, and of course um, change the world with your project? Uh, you make time. Mm -hmm. you, you set priorities and you make sure that uh, that they stay a priority. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, it's a very interesting industry to be in. It's fabulous for the girl that wants to get glammed up and do whatever and then mm -hmm. you know as soon as you get off the red carpet it's not glamorous you go to work we work 14 to 17 hours a day mm -hmm. we're running after cars or shooting in prisons or whatever it's mm -hmm. not it's not as glamorous as one would think mm -hmm. but um, it is what I love to do so my key thing was figuring out a way to tie what I love to do and philanthropy together so mm -hmm. that it's really seamless and effortless. And this is what the girls have done, which is why we support them so much. Mm -hmm. One of the many reasons why we support them so much mm -hmm. is because dance is their love. So mm -hmm. what they've done is they figured out how to use dance as mm -hmm. a portal into the philanthropic world, into awareness. Mm -hmm. So that's what, for me, that's what I just make sure that, okay, I'm, I'm an actress, I have a certain spotlight, mm -hmm. and I'm going to make sure that I, I use that spotlight to mm -hmm. shine it on other areas in the world and other issues. So mm. it's... Well, from well, girl, girl effect, from uh, from from changing uh, a few things here, it's grown to become this one, dance effect, twenty thirteen. Yes. Yes. And of course, uh, girls, are you are you excited? Of course, um, of course. Miss Swan is right here, yes. all eyes on you. Yeah. yeah. How, how prepared are you now? Because it's happening this Friday, right? Yes, mm -hmm. we've been doing crazy rehearsals. We had we had like five, six hours, I think, last week, and mm -hmm. tonight we have about three or four hours. We had dress rehearsal, and maybe tomorrow as well. So right. we 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 have to we're just finishing it up and running it over and over again. We oh, want to yeah. make sure it's a good show. It already yeah. is a good show. I've it's seen the rehearsals. Yeah, it's yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've seen some clips just now. Yes, we yeah. are convinced. Yeah. We are. So far, I'm not thoroughly convinced. Ooh. No, just usually oh, show yeah. the best no, parts in the trailer. Maybe you'll we'll just have to show up and, and come see it then. Yes. Exactly. I mean, to, then to we really can find out you. Yeah. whether yes. these girls really know their stuff or not and of course contribute to a greater cause. I mean, do come down this Friday. It's happening at Publica, yeah? mm, like Box Maps. That's right. And come down, bring it's some cash, baby. <laughs> bring some cash. That's for sure. yeah. but it, is that pressure? Is that pressure? <laughs> is that pressure? Do you feel it? Do you feel it right now, especially with Friday coming up? For um, I don't know. I feel like we can do it. I yeah. feel like people are gonna see this and like they don't have. To, they're gonna see it and see that it's for a good cause, and one hundred percent of what they're donating goes to a good cause. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be a thousand ringgit. It can be. 20 ringgit if that's all you can donate, but yes. that 20 ringgit is going to make a difference. Generously done, yeah. right? Yeah. So uh, what are your hopes, Rinda? I mean, for corporations, uh, you know, and also for individuals, uh, mm -hmm. what kind of uh, contributions are you hoping? 
I mean, obviously we'd love them to contribute in any way that they can, but mm -hmm. one of the key things is not to over... Um, overdo it. You don't mm -hmm. want to like. I don't want to come in and say, "Hey, you should be doing. You should contribute." As she said, a thousand ringgit. Mm -hmm. If you can't, because mm -hmm. it's actually going to turn you off from charity altogether. Sure. Because mm -hmm. you go, "What can I do?" Mm -hmm. So they made a really great point earlier that donations aren't just monetary. It's a phone call, a tweet, a retweet, a, you know, whatever. Sure. whatever. So obviously, if you can't, if you can't make a monetary donation, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just spread the news. And if you are a large corporation, I think mm -hmm. it's time that there's a certain amount of res responsibility that's held. Mm -hmm. In the same way that I look at what I do and the spotlight that I have, there's responsibility with that. There's mm -hmm. responsibility to give back. There's responsibility to make sure mm -hmm. that I'm bringing awareness to things and not just tweeting out about I love shoes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So Thank I you. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Enough selfies to last me a lifetime yeah. on social media. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Srina, I'm also very interested to find out your trip here to Southeast Asia. I mean, that's a long mm -hmm. journey away from Hollywood. Mm -hmm. It is. So your time here now, you have done a few amazing epic things like travel on a bicycle. Is it yep. 500 kilometers? Across yeah. Cambodia. Yes. And yeah. you wrote something, you wrote something in excerpt as well uh, about how emotional you got mm -hmm. uh, about your encounters. So this one particular one that got you really mm -hmm. teary, what was that? Well, I mean, we, we cycled for the Somali Mom Foundation, which is for anti-sex trafficking, which mm -hmm. uh, right off the bat is pretty a horrific um, mm -hmm. thing to deal with, especially with how young the girls are. Mm -hmm. um, Somali Mom is one of the most transparent, amazing organizations that um, we've worked with. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just phenomenal to see what they can do. But as I said, the girls that are coming in, um, I went, when we were cycling across Cambodia, one of the, the shelters I went to is called Kampong Cham Center. Mm -hmm. And some of the girls there are, it, it's for girls 16 and under mm -hmm. and a lot of the girls are around five six seven and mm -hmm. they've all been in brothels they've been sold mm -hmm. and there was this little girl who was six um six years old six that's disgusting. Wow. it's it's horrifying and that's the thing is it's not a glamorous cause and, and what we do is it's mm -hmm. not you know this is very glamorous we get to come on talk shows but behind the scenes it's it's very much mm -hmm. um groundwork you know you're in cambodia you're in south uh, south sudan or you're you know in a refugee camp but mm -hmm. you're in there and you're talking to these girls mm -hmm. and this little girl had just finished telling me her story which was very hard to listen to Mm -hmm. And I was crying, and I was trying not to let her see that I was crying. Mm -hmm. And um, so I kind of tucked away around the back because I didn't want her to feel like what she had said was bad, was bad mm -hmm. for you, or yeah. that mm -hmm. was you know was was shameful in any way. Mm -hmm. So I was crying in the corner, and she walked over, and she I felt this little hand on my on my leg, and I kneeled down, tried to be like, I'm gonna pull it together for you, I'm gonna pull it together. <laughs> and um, she just looked at me, and we obviously I I, I didn't speak Khmer, and she she just all she knew was to say like cry no like no cry sister, oh. and she grabbed my hand and she took her tiny little thumbs and she just started wiping away my tears. Oh dear! And she was the reason why I got back on my bike and could ride another 250 kilometers. She just that image to me of how young she was and knowing that one in every four girls in in Southeast Asia or Cambodia um, will face sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. cycling along and all these little girls run up and high-five you it's so moving and so lovely but at the same time one out of those four are gonna have some sort of experience mm -hmm. within within sex trafficking mm -hmm. so for me it, it's just it's so important to give back mm -hmm. you know with with the girl effect mm -hmm. internationally but then mm -hmm. we also love what they're doing locally here to just mm -hmm. give these girls voices and give them a choice and give them an education and mm -hmm. just give them something that is only geographically where they're born is the reason why they're up against this. Mm. Well, one last question before we yeah. have to absolutely wrap this up, yeah? Mm. I mean, what you do is amazing, what you do is amazing, but sometimes, just sometimes, do you feel like it's like taking a rock and throwing it in the ocean? In what difference can you make, this small thing that you do, you know? Please, tell us. Um, I think that we shouldn't we shouldn't think like that. You know, it's just mm. it's a small thing, but a small thing that makes a difference. Mm. Like w you know, we see that we want people to see this and feel that they can do it as well. We we I'm 16 and she's I'm, I'm 17 and she's 16. <laughs> and we're in Malaysia and with sisters and we can raise a hundred thousand. Mm. Anyone can do it. Even a friend of mine, which is so amazing. Mm -hmm. She's so shy. I think she's 15 years old. She lives mm -hmm. in Penang. Mm -hmm. She found out about the dance effect. She mm -hmm. went to her principal and she was like, oh, you know, can we do something? and she raised 7,000 ringgit. Wow. wow. There Amazing you go. Stuff. You never know what that ripple can actually yeah. carry you exactly. to. Thank yes. you so much for inspiring.
inspiring these girls. No, they know? did it themselves. <laughs> I'm inspired by them, and and it is. It's a, you can do a very very small amount, or you can raise a hundred thousand ringgit. It mm -hmm. all of it counts. And mm -hmm. as you said, it's that stone in in the water. Mm -hmm. You can never throw a stone in the water without some sort of ripple happening. Yes. Exactly. So just throw it. Just see what happens. Just see what happens. Just see what happens. I like that. The <laughs> possibilities are endless. You are not just a friend to mankind. You are a friend of Malaysia. That's for sure. I Thank love you, Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, saya suka Malaysia. Say that. Saya cinta Malaysia. Let that. I say that. Saya, saya cinta. cinta. Malaysia. Malaysia. Oh, well My goodness. Go. Her first there Malaysian go. sentence. Yes. And it was right here on the breakfast show. That's <laughs> <And laughs> my, my two I got. Girls, <laughs> reach for the stars and yes. touch the sky. Yes. All yes. our support is with you. Do your best this Friday, of course. <laughs> Dance Effect 2013. Be there or be square. And remember, bring your moolah, baby. Mm -hmm. You can yes. bring 20 cents. You can bring 20 ringgit. You can bring 220,000. It doesn't matter. It's about helping. Or it's about going for the bigger picture right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Very good. Well, right. the date is... Uh, this this Friday, 27th of September, mm -hmm. time is from 6 to uh, 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. at the Black Box Maps at Solaris du Tamas. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Did I mention attendance uh, is free? <laughs> Malaysians yeah. love free stuff. That's yes. right. Come at 6, yes. you can come meet me. We're taking pictures, we're excellent, hanging out. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Just okay. Say, I'm well, a big exciting. fan of Superman, so actually I remember uh, the episode where she was <laughs> the one with the top hat. Yeah? Zatanna. You know your stuff. I have to. I have to. I've played her for a couple of roles. So yeah. I'm just so glad he found his voice eventually. Yeah. <laughs> so are we. Thank goodness, thank goodness. Megan Fox got nothing on you, man. Whoa. We're going to take a quick break on The Breakfast Show, the show worth being here for, just to, of course, wrap things up mm. and maybe calm down my testosterone. Sure. <laughs> we'll be back Always. right after this. After the break. Hold my hand, Lisa. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Shivering. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back right after this. <laughs>